Good afternoon. In today's readings, we will hear that God created the world and everything in it to be very good. We will hear how God created man in his own image and how he gave man authority over all the creatures of the world. God gave the command for his creation, both male and female, to multiply and reign over all the fish, birds, and all creatures that roam on earth. God also created all the plants on the earth. We see that God made all of his creation work in harmony with one another. When we live in harmony with other living things, we see proof that God created everything to be very good. In the gospel today, we hear about Mary Magdalene and other followers coming to the tomb of Jesus. We will hear that when they got to the tomb, the stone was rolled away, and there was a man telling them that Jesus has been raised as he said he would. Please stand and join us in our opening song, number 308, God of All Grace, number 308. Oh, How about if you turn around and see how many people are up in the choir? I'm there with Kayla Cowder, our music teacher, and she's starting off with a really big mass because we have Archbishop Thomas Zinkula here today, and this is our first mass since before Christmas that we have as a school community. So I have a cup of water that says, "Tis the season to be jolly," because it's. So it seems like it's a long time since we've been together, but we're glad to be here for our Catholic schools with Mass. It's also the first Mass that we've celebrated as an Aquin community since Mr. Jellison's father, Jake, died. So we remember him in a special way, and we also have a special intention for Margie McDermott, and Mike McDermott is here, so we welcome Margie's family members here today. And so I think we should give a big welcome to Archbishop Tom Zinkula. Now I did tell him how we start Mass here. 
lot of time and just try not to scare him, okay? But he said he gave us permission, so are you ready? So it's great to be with you. Um, you know, I heard, I'm not sure if this is true, you tell me <clears throat> that you have uh, the best pastor in the whole archdiocese. Is that true? <clears throat> <clears throat> and the best deacon in the whole archdiocese. Is that true? And that you're the best school in the whole archdiocese. Is that true? That's what I heard anyway. It sounds like it's true. So anyway, it's good to be with you. Catholic Schools Week and you're doing fun things. One thing I, I, I we have a policy, a rule in the diocese. Whatever you do of Catholic Schools Week, you do all these, these things, but don't wear pajamas to school. Don't do that. You guys wouldn't do that, would you? What? Okay. Well, maybe you're not the best school of that. I don't know. You know. That sounds like fun. So let's begin Mass now by recognizing that we are not perfect and that we need, we need a Savior. We need Jesus Christ. Let's acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess, Almighty, my brothers, Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, the Father of every gift, we confess that all we have and are comes from you. Teach us to recognize the effects of your boundless care and to love you with a sincere heart and with all our strength. Through our Lord and Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle all over, and, all, and over all the wild animals and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image, and the image of in the image of God he created them. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, saying, fertile and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all living things that move on the earth. God also said, see, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And, and to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living things that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for your food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. The word of the Lord. Thank 
Create a clean heart in me, O oh God. A clean heart create for me, O oh God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me out from your presence and your Holy Spirit. Take not from me. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall not return to you. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a holy cost, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and a humbled. O oh God, you will not spurn. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James and Salome, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early when the sun had risen on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance of the, to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him, but go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Our, um, four, I think 44 Catholic schools in our archdiocese, 44. I can't get to each of those every year because it's too many. So it'll take me a little while, maybe, maybe three years. So, um, so like here I am, I, I, I won't be able to get back here for a while. And I was thinking, what's the most important thing I can, message I can give to you? What's the most important thing I can say to you if, if that's, you know, all I have is this one time for quite a while. What's, what, what, what do you need to hear? What do I think you need to hear? What does God want you to hear? So, so I was thinking, um, I, you know, I just basically try to, in a short little um, time here in this homily, tell you um, what our Catholic Christian faith is all about. Okay, this is what it's all about. If you have to just condense it down to just, just, um, a few things. I have four things that I want to talk about. Is to, to, um, the message of the Bible, the message of the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, right? So, what do you think the first thing is? Anybody have any ideas? So, the first thing I want to tell you is that um, God is love, right? 
I mean, we hear that in John's gospel. So, you know, what can you say about God? Almighty God, all powerful God, all everything God. You know, and so much to say. Well, you can just you can distill it all down to one word that God is love. So whenever there's genuine love, God's a part of that, right? So God, you know, is, is love. And so he has and so he has a loving plan for all of us. So what, you know, what what's that plan that God has for us? Where do we hear about it, you know, at the begin at the very beginning? What was the first reading that we heard? You guys paying attention? From the book of Genesis, what did we hear there? So the book of Genesis, creation story. What, what did you hear in that? What did you hear that that first God? What did God do at the very beginning of of creation? Yeah, you guys know this. Hey, he made the world. He made the he made the, the earth and the sun and the moon and the stars and and then everything on the earth, right? Yeah forget <laughs> what like yeah and created and ultimately eventually he created man you know human beings yeah and yeah men and women man and woman what were their names adam and eve what's like one creation that you think is really cool like spiders or something The world around us, yeah. But like, what, what, what thing on the world? What, what, what do you think? Is great creation. What? Eagles. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. I know animals. What kind of animals? Which one that you like? This is a great creation. All of them. Yeah. Tigers. All right. And then, so God creates all these things in His image and likeness, which means. We were made kind of like God, you know, you know, that we're in some ways we're like God, not, you know, in little ways like God. And, um, and, he, and, he, and he said, what did he say after he made all this creation? What, what's the, what did he say? This is, oh, this is okay. I could have done better. This is good. And actually, this is very good, right? Especially the human beings. So, um, so here, that's, so that's the most, first thing that we need to, to um, that God wants us to know is that He loves us like crazy, and and you know maybe He was lonely and He wanted to have some people to interact with, you know. So God, He created us, He created us good, right? And and He wants to have a relationship with us. That's really important to, to always remember. We're good. God loves us. And he wants us to love Him in return. That relationship with Him. So then, okay, there's that. You hear that in Genesis book of Genesis, that's where it all begins. Then what happens? Okay, there's Adam and Eve, and then is everything just, you know, wonderful ever after? Yeah. Yeah, well, it was actually a good tree. Actually, when I was coming here, I was in a hurry. I, I was eating an, eating an apple on my way here. <laughs> Uh, so I, I wasn't thinking about that. I was going to be talking about this. So anyway, so God says to Anthem, don't eat from this tree. Everything else, you know, you can eat from it. They have a good relationship with God, right? They, they, they walk with God in the garden in the evenings. It's all really good. So God creates things good. And then we do stupid things. Like Adam and Eve, they ate this apple that they weren't supposed to because they, they, they listened to the serpent, Yeah. Yeah, and then out, yeah, they hid from him after they after that happened. Then things weren't so good anymore, right? Because they they um, separated themselves from God. They, they 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 turned away from God, and so they 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 kind of said no to his loving plan. He had this plan that's all be going to be great, you know. But then, but they said no, and we and we do that too, right? We we do that too. Um, so uh, where are the second graders at? Did you, have you celebrated a sacrament yet? Um, second grade? Okay, I already asked you what. What was that sacrament? 
Yeah. Greg and say, so why do we got why do we have that sacrament? So we can go to the priest and say, I was so good in this way and that way. I was nice to my brothers and sisters. I didn't beat up on them. I you know I always obeyed my parents. Because we sin, right? We have a conscience. We know what's right and wrong. Sometimes we do stupid things, just like Adam and Eve, and, and we sin. And then I don't know about you, but when when I sin, and even I sin, I'm the Archbishop, I sin too. I, um, and so um, I really feel bad about myself. I get down on myself. So I, I talk to myself like Tom. Why did you do that? That was so stupid. Why do you keep doing this? You know. So you know. So here we are. Um, turn away from God, not following his loving plan, and, and, and we're hurting. Um, and so there's that in the psalm, you know, we said, create a clean heart in me, O God. Please create, a, um, wash this sin away, you know, help me to feel better about myself. So there we are. You know, the first thing, God creates us, it's all good, and, 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 lo and there's love there and everything, and then we turn away from God, and we're bad, and things aren't, aren't so good, and we're separated from God. So then what happens? What's the third thing then in this, um, plant, in this story kind of, this, of, of, our, of, our, of, of our faith? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're now past Adam and Eve. Yeah, he said that. So yeah, he said I'm out of the garden because they've done bad and they're separated from God. So God doesn't want to. Do you think God wants us to just feel bad about ourselves forever and ever and ever when we do things that are wrong? Do you think God is like, I'll show you, you know, I'm, I have nothing to do with you anymore. Do you think God wants us to feel bad about ourselves forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever? Does he? No, because he loves us so much. So there's God thinking, what am I going to do? What does he do then? We're feeling bad about things. We've sinned like Adam and Eve. What does he do? What does he do? Yeah. yeah. Okay, he forgives us, but how does he go about doing that? What, so what was it? What did we celebrate at Christmas? Yeah. Jesus was born. God, what does he do? He sends us his son. Some people put it this way. He sends us a rescue mission to save us. You know, here's superhero Jesus. Go and save them. So Jesus is, is born, and that's the beginning of, of, of um, how God saves us. And, you know, um, and think of the second read, the, the gospel reading. So Lent is coming up. So what's that all about? What's where, how does God, so Jesus is born, but that's not the end of the story of Jesus' life. Yeah, so, so it's the, there's the Paschal. We heard about the resurrect, him rising from the dead. Somebody paid attention. That's good, guys. Um, but before, he, before that, he had to die, right? So Jesus died, and, um, and then he rose from the dead. So that's called the Paschal Mystery. That's how God saved us, right? And that's, that's huge. You know, he saved us from, from sin and death. All right, so that's, okay, fine. You know, creation, God's loving plan, um, we made God's image and likeness, we're good, we mess up, we separate ourselves off from God, we feel bad about ourselves, we separate ourselves from each other, you know, it's just things aren't good in, in the world, you know, when, when, when we're um, sinners. And so then God doesn't want to leave us there, he sends us his son, he's born, and then, you know, he, he, goes, he has his ministry, he teaches, he heals, he does all these things. And then, um, then he dies and, 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 and rises from the dead to save us from our sins. All right, so there's one more, one more thing here. I said there's four things. Is that the end of it? Okay, well, there it is. Is that the end of God's plan, the end of the story? So, so Jesus did, does that stuff. We need to respond, though. God's not going to force his forgiveness on us and his love. We need to, because we have free will, we have to open the door to that. We have to say, I want this. You know, how do we do that? How do we do that? How do we go about responding and saying yes to God? You know, we said no to, his, to God when we sin. And how do we go about saying yes to God? So you second graders, 
Um, what's, what's something that you do in the sacrament of, of reconciliation? First, you examine your conscience, think about what you did that was wrong. Um, and, and then um, it's time to go to, to talk to the priest, and tell him the things that you did that were, were wrong. And he, um, you know, and then and then he gets you a penance, whatever. What's another piece of it? There's a prayer that maybe you learned. Uh huh. Act of contrition. So what do we, that prayer? What are we? What are we doing with that? What are we saying, kind of, to God? I'm sorry. Right. So Jesus does this stuff for us, and so we we um. We're, we tell God, we tell Jesus, we're sorry for our sins. I'm sorry. We repent. And then, you know, and, and we tell God, I believe in you. I love you. And, and so, and, and, and maybe there's a baptism, and, and, you know, as part of this whole thing, too, for somebody that's older. And then we're filled with the Holy Spirit. You know, that confirmation is kind of um, a way that we celebrate that and uh, open the door to that. And, you know, and that's all happening. And we're praying and and and, and all that and, and then so then we're living a new life right so we have this life that god gives us you know when we're born we mess up we're, there's um, sin and everything and then we return to god and there's new life in jesus's family so we're not we're not all alone in this this is something we do together you know it's really important that that we're part of the church so we um and together we say yes to God, and we say, um, and we celebrate the sacraments, and we pray together, um, and we celebrate God's love for us. We return to God, kind of together. And that's, you know, that's the most important thing I can tell you guys. That is the good news of Jesus Christ. That's the joy of the gospel. You know, um, no matter how bad we mess up sometimes, we can always come back to God, get back on his plan, his loving plan. And then We'll have a better life then because of that, you know, or just life. It still will have hard things, but Jesus will be with us, walking with us, we'll walk with each other, and, and we have, and then all this gets us ready then for, for eternal life, you know, um, with God forever. So that's what I want you to know. I, I won't be back for a while. I want you to, to always remember like these, these four things that happen know, in our, in our lives, in the life of the church. And now for the prayer of the faithful. Shall we present some of our needs and concerns to God? Oh, we didn't come up. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, and all religious leaders of the world, who are models of discipleship as they share God's word and live out his teaching each, teachings each day, we pray to the Lord. Lord. The, for the political leaders of the world, that they use their position to work together towards peace and justice and end the threat of war and social inequality, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For Akron students and staff that we may carry out the will of God through our daily thoughts and actions, through the lessons we have learned from Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For those who are sick, lonely, hum homeless, grieving, and in need of healing, may they find hope in God's love through the help and goodness of others, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For all who have lost the loved one, and for those who have died, we pray to the Lord. 
for the supporters and benefactors of Aquin who serve our school with their time, talent, and treasure to make it strong and successful. We pray to the Lord. For Margie McDermott, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. For those on the Aquin Prayer Board, for the personal intentions we hold in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, we ask you to hear these prayers and answer them as you think best. We ask this through Christ our Lord. We also ask that you remember Mr. Jellison's father, Jay, in your prayers. Presenting our gifts are Elsie and Josie. Please join us in our offertory song, 516, I Will Choose Christ. friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God as Almighty Father. For the gifts you have, have bestowed, O Lord, we offer you the sacrifice of praise, humbly begging that what you have conferred upon us in our unworthiness, we may give back to the glory of your name. Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. God, our loving Father, we are glad to give you thanks and praise because you love us. Because you love us, gave us this great and beautiful world. Because you love us, you sent Jesus, your son, to bring us to you and to gather us around him as the children of one family. With such great love, we thank you with the angels and saints as they praise you and sing.
Blessed be Jesus, whom you sent to be the friend of children and of the poor. He came to show us how we can love you, Father, by loving one another. He came to take away sin, which keeps us from being friends, and hate, which makes us all unhappy. He promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with us always, so that we can live as your children. God, our Father, we now ask you to send your Holy Spirit to change these gifts of bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. The night before he died, Jesus, your son, showed us how much you love us. When he was at supper with his disciples, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. Then he broke the bread and gave it to his friends and said, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took the cup that was filled with wine. He thanked you, gave it to his friends, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And he said to them, Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. died and rose again to save the world. He put himself into our hands to be the sacrifice we offer you. Lord our God, listen to our prayer. Send the Holy Spirit to all of us who share in this meal. May the Spirit bring us closer together in the family of the church. With Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, all other bishops, and all who serve your people. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our God, Christ, 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 Christ. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord of Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us loss of one another a sign of Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Please join us in our communion song, number 331. One bread, one body.
As we celebrate Catholic schools, we're very grateful to you, Archbishop, for joining us today. Also, thanks to Laura Herbers, our principal, and to all the teachers and staff members. We also have here this afternoon, Aquin Board and Finance Committee members. We are grateful to our daycare director, Joanne O'Connell, and all who serve on the daycare advisory committee. We're especially grateful to all of you students and parents and grandparents, benefactors and parishioners, and guests that are here with us today. Thanks Deacon Mark Adi for serving as our executive coordinator. And again, thanks to Kayla Cowder, our music director for our school and our first school mass. And let's give a hand to all the musicians and singers. We're also grateful to Mr. Jellison's class for helping to plan our liturgy and to have many of the liturgical roles. Let us pray. O oh God, who have given to us as spiritual food the saving sacrament of your Son, which we have offered you in thanksgiving, grant that, being strengthened by gifts of courage and joy, we may serve you more dev devotedly and be worthy of still further blessings. Through Christ our Lord. So it was a, a treat, a pleasure to be to be with you. Um, also to, to get out of the office and all that administrative work. That is really great to have some place to go. You know, but no, seriously, it's a real delight. You guys have a, a wonderful school and you're wonderful students and teachers and administrators. So thank you for um, for um, celebrating so joyfully this mass. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please join us in our closing song, number 502. Number 502. Number 502. 